What's up guys, the Red Cloak here. Today's my chapter review on Black Clover 318. And this chapter just solidifies Lucifer as a threat to everything in this arc. But before we begin this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification to stay notified whenever I upload a video. And now, without further ado, let's get right into the chapter review, Black Clover 318, Presence of the Demon King. Now, last chapter was crazy. Last chapter, Lucifer finally came out. The second gate devil came out as well, but he's not really doing anything. And now Lucifero blitzed Asta, and he's telling him, are you the one foolish enough to stop my manifestation? And now this is the interaction I wanted to see happen. Libe and Lucifero, since, you know, Lucifero kind of killed Lucita, and Libe wants revenge. And Libe finally tells Lucifero, Lucifero, remember me? You're the one who killed Lucita. And I'm glad Tabata didn't forget about Libe's hatred on the devils, knowing that he still has a character arc, even though he befriended Asta, because he still wants to get revenge on every single devil there is. And Lucifero finally answers Lipe saying, I don't know who you are. I don't know who this Lacita person is, but you're trash without a scrap of magic. Stop talking to me. Lucifero says he will not tolerate such existence. And then he uses gravity to push everything down. And even Asta saying that his magic power is insane. And Lipe tells Asta, out of everything, I want to defeat this guy. And he doesn't say we have to defeat this guy. He says me, just me, because this is personal for Lipe. Asta doesn't know who Lacita is. So I hope he does learn who Lucita is, but still, this is personal for Libe, and he wants to defeat Lucifer at all costs, even if he's at 50% of his power. Asta being the great friend that he is, tells him, I got you, and goes right into Devil Union, which means he was not out of it, he just turned it off, and he now has four minutes left in Devil Union, while Nock tells him, don't make any sudden moves, Asta, but he, you know, Asta being Asta, already does. And we don't know the second gate Supreme Devil's name, but he is talking, not really fighting, just saying that there's somebody who can move around Lucifero's gravity magic. What a weirdo. I think it's crazy that this second Supreme Gate Devil is not really jumping into the fight helping Lucifero because Nama and Lilith were pretty scared of, you know, Lucifero because they were going to mess with Dante. But again, they just like, they don't really want to mess with Lucifero. So they don't want to do that. But he's not really jumping into the fray and helping Lucifero or just fighting anyone else. He's just standing there and watching them have it just makes me think that this guy isn't as bloodthirsty as Nama and Lilith, so it'll be crazy to see that this Supreme Devil is different than every other devil who doesn't really like fighting or touring with humans, just wants to do his own thing, just watch the fight. Asa then says to himself, it doesn't matter how powerful his magic is, but Devil Yun has four minutes left and he's getting ready to use his magic tracking and attack Lucifero, but it doesn't really work. What I mean by that is Lucifero grabs the sword with one hand, and I swear this is a Bleach reference if I seen one, because Aizen was, did the same thing in Soul Society arc to Ichigo using one finger and slices him almost in half. And Lucifer, I swear this guy was reading Bleach in the underworld and was getting ready to use all of these moves that he learned from Aizen. And we know physically, the Demon Slayer sword is Asta's strongest sword, and seeing somebody stop it with one hand with no difficulty, it's kind of insane knowing that Lucifer is at 50% of his power. And Asa now saying he can't even move the sword anymore. And Lucifero takes one finger and uses the finger to, you know, put it across the sword. And he slices himself, making him draw blood. I think Lucifero is mainly testing out to see if this could actually hurt him, which it can, making him draw blood. And he just looks at Asa saying, you're a piece of trash, you know that? And what's even scary is Lucifero is not even using a single attack spell. Just his raw physical strength. And he punches Asa straight in the face, making him starting to see stars. But we finally get to see where Yami is, and Vanessa trying to use her fate magic to actually help him, you know, not get weaker and weaker. Vanessa says her fate magic did save them, but it won't last for much longer, and it just shows that Yami and William are not safe. Even though they're out of the tree of death, and the gates are, you know, kind of done, they're still getting weaker and weaker by the moment. And the second Supreme Devil does say something very good, saying that Lucifer, although incomplete, he's still physically strong, and his abilities are unmatched. No matter how strong you are, an ant just can't beat an elephant. And I'm definitely getting Ukiyora vibes from the second Supreme Devil, and I just can't wait to see what this guy has in store. Vanessa continues to say they went through all that trouble, and the captain just keeps on getting weaker and weaker, and if Lucifer keeps on getting closer, they'll be crushed to death. And the coldest line for Lucifer is that just his presence alone can crush everything down, people's magic, fate itself, and this is the presence of the Demon King. It's not like how this fraud Dante used this presence of the Demon King. No, not like that. It's just his presence alone. Lucifero's presence alone is the actual presence of the Demon King. Asa now can barely stand is looking wobbly. And he's saying that he all he did was punch me. 
and yet I'm already seeing stars and I can't see straight, and that he needs to get up and not waste time. And now we see a foot, which is Mariliona saying that this brunt is doing all he can to fight the Demon King, so they might as well enter the fray and help him fight, which are the captains, and Jack is back. He did not get killed by Dante. Now, I'm getting a lot of Bleach references from this Loash panel, and you know how Aizen slapped both the visors and the captains? Yeah, I think that's going to happen to both captains in Black Clover after this fight when Lucifer is done with them. But I do see Twilight of Valhalla is already getting activated, and Dorothy's getting ready for a Dream Magic, but I feel like there are a few people who aren't really going to do much. I think Charlotte and Foygoleon and I think Nozelle aren't really going to do much to, you know, Lucifero. And I think Jack and Mariliona have to take charge. But Jack looking like he's injured and he hasn't got healed yet. I'm glad that Lucifero beat the shit out of Asta because people are saying that his anti-magic is kind of overpowered. But Lucifero kind of found the way around it. If you're physically stronger and faster, you can beat Devil Union Asta and you can just waste time. But also, I just kind of want to see lasting consequences or a death in this arc to actually solidify lucifer as a top villain in this arc because zenon is the best that we got overall this fight could either make or break the spade arc and even black clover as a whole but i do think this is going to be asta's last battle because we already know Jules' prediction he thinks that asta is going to die or the clover king is going to be in ruins or both both can still happen asta can die and lucifer can go out and destroy the clover kingdom make them have to flee to Yami's homeland or you know out of the continent because let's be honest no one wants to stay there if Lucifer is gonna be the one to take over but I think overall this chapter was very very good and solid I'll give it a 9 out of 10 I just kind of wish we saw Lucifer use a spell or anything else I do wish Yuno was here as well but hey what can you do I do think the next chapter is gonna be even more great for Lucifer for his debut anyway guys this has been the Red Cloak I'm gonna head about you guys peace out and hope you guys have a great rest of the day and see you later. Goodbye. <laughs>